How's it going boys? So as you're seeing here, I'm downloading this RTX tech, um, resource pack for Minecraft Java Edition on PC. Now as you're seeing here, this exact link is exactly what you can type in and I'll even put it in the description below. Um, I pretty much watched this uh, video of another person that did this and showed this off to like a, a bunch of other people. Um, but yeah, pretty much all you do is you type in this link and it's going to bring you to this um, texture pack that is how you can insert ray tracing into any world of your choosing so you click directly on the download link as you saw there and it's going to open up your minecraft um, eventually here soon right so now once it's opened up your minecraft whenever i figure out um, what I'm doing here with my life. I'm, vo I'm voicing over this, so sort of like just watching myself do this in the past. You're going to go to your global resources and as you see there it is there, activate it and once it's active, um, like I said you'll pretty much be able to incorporate ray tracing into any one of your worlds and I'm going to showcase that and stuff like that as well. Um, ray tracing as you know makes Minecraft look so much better. Um, I'm not exactly sure how um, people get all of the realistic texture packs I'm not sure if they combine it but um, you do require an insane PC for that uh, so no point to bother with all that this is good enough it's gonna say Kelly's RTX always right there but it's cool and boom as you see ray tracing on any world of your choosing it's pretty awesome um, if you want to see the difference um, I'm going to put my Minecraft playlist that I just started like last week in the description as well. You can go and view the first two other episodes that were not ray tracing enabled. And as you see in the settings, now they are ray trace enabled. Uh, you got the render distance chunks and all that cool stuff. I'm um, just checking out the settings here. So skipping a little bit ahead here, this is where you'll really be able to see the difference. As you can tell from the torch light um, and the sort of... Um, just ray tracing graphics you'll see here you got the light and everything totally changes Minecraft um, sp speaking as a veteran here when Minecraft first came out on the Xbox 360 uh, I haven't been playing it as long but I have been playing Minecraft for a while it's just great to be able to see the graphics getting better and I really hope Mojang Studios um, just goes all the way with the fact that people love the realistic ray tracing graphics despite the performance issues uh, which is probably a big problem uh, for the developers as well but it's amazing um, one downside to ray tracing I will say though despite how good it looks is the fact that torches are practically useless now because uh, whenever you're going cave mining literally the torches are so useless like if anything it blinds you even more because it only puts light so far around it and then everything else is so much more dark around it. it's more realistic I guess you know which is cool um, so honestly like that's the only biggest problem I ran into so far with enabling RTX uh, ray tracing on Minecraft is just the fact that it is just so much more realistic and the game was never built around this kind of graphics i mean these graphics weren't even imagined at the time of minecraft's first release you know so um that's the only downside is that it is just super dark in the caves and when you put torches down it is actually so much more worse but um yeah this is pretty much it i don't want to drag this video out too long um that's how you enable ray tracing on any single world of your choosing from start to finish it's really awesome i hope that you guys enjoyed if this helped you out and you want to support the channel for free please do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below check out all my other videos and stuff like that and as always i hope you guys have a blessed day and i will see you in the next video peace